Hey guys, it is Amanda Adams with Amanda Adams Photography and The Home Room with Amanda Adams. Today we are talking about how to force Facebook into scraping your URL so it will show the information that you want it to show when you share a, uh, a website link. And this can be um, anywhere inside of a comment or a post that you share or even inside of Messenger. Um, any of the information that you need is actually above this video inside of this blog post and it will walk you through step by step um, how to use Facebook's debugger tool uh, in order to scrape your URLs. But now we are actually talking about metadata that um, Facebook uses inside of that uh, debugger tool to pull in so it will show that particular content. So in order to generate the code that you can use for your metadata on your website, we will actually go to uh, a schemaapp.com website to generate this code. So what you will first need to do is jump on Google and type in schema.org uh, JSON slash LD generator and when you hit enter you should be able to find this website. Um, if you can see the URL above um, on this screen you're welcome to do that as well. You can go to www, uh, www.schemaapp.com slash tools slash J S O N L D dash schema dash generator and that it will take you to that particular website. So when you get to that website then you will need to click on organization. For for small businesses we are organizations and we want to make sure that we are providing uh, Google and Facebook and any any other um, bot that will crawl your website with the proper information. So click on organization and then it will take you to a separate page that will bring up um, even more options and for me I am a wedding photographer so I clicked on local business and once you click on that even more options will pop up and I am a professional service so I clicked on professional service but there are other options as well so like if you're a gas station or if, uh, or if your business is like a daycare center, you can click on any um, of these, uh, I think they're called child types, um, that apply to your particular business. So you wanna make sure that you choose the one that's best for you. So once you click on professional service, this is what will pop up to create a professional service entity. And I went ahead and um, took some time to fill in some of these fields because I wanted you to see um, the code that actually pops up when you start to fill these in. Uh, over here on the output in this little yellow box, this is actually the code that you will copy and paste and drop into the header section of your website. So scrolling down, you will um, fill in the information that you think is important for um, your meta tag and your metadata. And I actually left this one open because this is an important one, especially if you're sharing your information on Twitter or Facebook or your URL, excuse me, on Twitter or Facebook. So having a uh, image attached to your URL is extremely important. And in order to find that, um, you will actually have to go over to your website where you have all of your um, images hosted on your website. Now I actually use Show It 5 so I'm going to jump over to uh, my media files and you can actually find that by going to site and then media library and this will pop up. Now if you're looking for um, this one in particular I think is asking for my logo so all you have to do is locate your logo and click on the little link here it's already copied your uh, URL to your logo um, on your clipboard and go back to schema now this one is for um, in particular your logo so go down to content URL and just paste it right into that section you can actually do the exact same thing um, for any other 
images that are on your website that you would like to share. So fill in um, any sponsorship service areas, any reviews. This is a great place to put this in um, for a telephone number. You can actually share your tax ID. I did not. Um, this is just quick for demonstration purposes. So what you will actually do is click on this little yellow box. It will update um, any of the fields that you filled in and click copy to clipboard. And that's it, you're done. You have your metadata um, all written out in code now for you to drop into the HTML section on your website. Um, in order to find information on that, all you have to do is uh, scroll all the way up to the top of this blog post and there are there's information there step by step showing you where to post your HTML code in your header of your website, whether you have a WordPress website or um, a Squarespace website or even a Show It 5 website like I do. I hope this was helpful. If you guys need any more information or if you have questions, feel free to shoot me a message or shoot me an email, or you can even leave a comment below the video. Wherever it was that you saw this, if it's on YouTube, drop a comment below the video. If it's on my blog, you can always drop a comment below um, on the blog itself. My email address is hello at amandaadams.co, that's .co, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in.